Hello Quidditch fans, I'm Kevin Ripa and this is my Sands 3 Minutes Max. Today we're going to be talking about Raid 5. Raid 5 is about the most popular uh, instantiation of Raid uh, that is in use today. Now Raid 5 is made up of a minimum of three hard drives and the maximum amount is, well, it's a big number. Uh, it's, you're probably not going to use that many discs in a RAID 5. So that is to say that go ahead and use as many as you need. What is the storage size of RAID 5? Well, if we have, let's say, five one terabyte hard drives connected in a RAID 5, the total storage size would be four terabytes. So whatever the total number of discs you have minus the storage size of one disk is going to be the available storage area on a RAID 5. So minimum of three disks, uh, you know, not really a, a maximum, uh, but you'd want to stay within reason. The largest I've ever dealt with was an 18 disk RAID 5. Now, why would we use a RAID 5? RAID 5, definitely redundancy, uh, as well as uptime. Because if we have the simplest RAID, let's say a three disc RAID, one of those discs could completely fail and we wouldn't lose any data. In fact, if we were using a, what we call a hot swappable solution, we could pull out the bad hard drive and insert a new hard drive into that slot and the data from the other two drives will repopulate the third drive with data thereby maintaining the redundancy and uptime. You haven't had to turn your system off. So that's usually why uh, something like RAID 5 is used. It is not intended as a backup solution and it has to be monitored because failures can be catastrophic if more than one drive dies, but we'll talk about that in a future episode. So the pros, large disk space we can create with multiples of hard drives and we have redundancy in that we can lose one disk without losing any of our data. So the way that it gets, it can rebuild our data is through a process called parity. And in a three disk RAID, one of those drives is, uh, or, or the size of one drive is given over to maintaining this, this parity. When we want to forensically image this, much the same as the rest, beyond three disks, we probably don't want to image it by the drive and try to rebuild it later. We're now getting into the realm of connect to the RAID array and image out logically or be a little more specific about the data that you need. Because if you are looking at 12 terabytes of data, do you really need all 12 terabytes of space? Probably not. So in the meantime, and in between time, that's it. Another episode of Three Minutes Max.